Welcome back to New Student Advising. In this video, we will be showing you resources that will be useful to you as a new student. We will start with the Triton ID. Your Triton ID is an additional login ID you will use at Edmonds. It's not the same as your CTC link number. Your Triton ID allows access to Triton email through Gmail, the library sign-in, campus Wi-Fi, the gate system, and computer labs or Chromebooks. It's important to get your Triton ID activated as soon as you register for at least one class at Edmonds so you can access these resources easily. To activate your Triton ID, first use the Triton ID lookup tool. You can find this on our main website under Students, Campus Resources, Campus Technology Resources, or by using the search bar to search for Triton ID. The lookup tool will be a large green button. Enter your CTC Link ID number and birthday to activate your Triton ID. Your Triton ID and email will automatically be made when you use the lookup tool. Your Triton ID will be some combination of your first and last name plus a few numbers. The email will be your Triton ID at student.admins.edu. Write down or record this ID so you don't forget it. The system also creates a temporary password. You will only use this temporary password once when you log in, then you will be able to change it. To sign in to your Triton Access and email, go to admins.octa.com and log in using your Triton ID and temporary password. When the system prompts you, change your password to a new one you will remember. Your password expires every 120 days and you will need to change it again then. When you log in for the first time, the Triton Access system will ask you to set a secondary email, security question, and optional cell phone number for password or account recovery. It is highly recommended that you do all three of these. As a note, when you set a secondary email recovery account, you will need to confirm that email address by clicking on a button in an automated email from Okta. Congratulations, you have successfully set up your Triton ID. Access your new admins email through student.admins.edu and go to your Triton Access account at admins.octa.com. Anytime a system asks for your Triton ID, you will log in using this identification. One such system that uses Triton ID that you will use often at admins is GATE. The Graduation Application and Transcript Evaluation, or GATE, system is used by our Credentials and Evaluations Office. It primarily handles graduation applications for applying to graduate in your degree or certificate and transcript evaluations to bring over credits from other institutions. You will log into GATE using your Triton ID. New transfer students may want to have credits from another institution transferred here. To transfer the credits to Edmonds, you should submit your official transcripts and then put a request through GATE for a transfer evaluation. Evaluations are done for each unique program, so if you change your program, you will need to file another request. Later in your academic career, you will use GATE for submitting a graduation application for your certificate or degree. It is important to know when your graduation date will be, as applications should be filled out as you are registering for your last quarter of classes. Please check in with advising if you need any assistance requesting a credit evaluation, and also as you're approaching your final 30 credits. As a student on campus, it's important to have an EdPass for support services. Your EdPass is your proof of identification on campus and functions as a library card, printing or copy machine card, campus cash card, and gym access card. You can also use your EdPass as an ORCA bus pass at a reduced student price. If you intend to commute to campus, you should also get a parking permit. The permit allows you to park in student lots, shown here in light green, during daytime hours. Parking permits are available in the security office in Woodway Hall, room 214. The first one is free and replacements needed during the year will cost $15. One of the biggest resources for new students on campus is advising. There are several types of advisors you may see on campus during your time here, and you may have more than one advisor at a time for different needs. There are academic, division, faculty, and specialty advisors on campus. We are all here to help, and some of us have specializations in answering certain questions. If we know an advisor or area that is better suited to help you, we will point you in that direction. Academic advisors provide general advising and referrals for all students in all programs. They can help with questions about enrollment, new student advising, 
pathway exploration, English and math placement, course selection, transferring credits, academic progress, forms for student services, and other general questions. Academic advisors are in the Advising Resource Center on the first floor of Linwood Hall. Division advisors work with students who are in specific divisions and programs. We have three division advisors on campus. Wendy Crozier is in the Business Division, located in Snohomish Hall. Crystal Nash is in the Health and Human Services Division, also located in Snohomish Hall. Carolyn Tulloch is in the Humanities and Social Sciences Division, located in Alderwood Hall. In addition to general advising, division advisors develop ongoing relationships with students discussing long-term course progression and future plans for transfer or career. Faculty advisors are specific to a student's degree or certificate program. Faculty advisors are able to assess prior work, answer substitution questions, help students with academic planning, elaborate on program content, and discuss career and educational opportunities and outcomes. Faculty advisors are helpful in planning specific courses and experiences to support career or transfer goals. Occasionally, students will interact with other advisors for specific programs around campus. For example, international students will meet with OIP, Office of International Programs Advisors, and students who are learning English will meet with ELA, or English Language Acquisition Advisors. Students are always welcome to see an academic advisor in Linwood Hall for general questions. In this video, we discuss new student resources as well as advising resources that can help you succeed in your time here at Edmonds.